Ahsoka just answered a major question that fans have been wondering ever since marketing for the show began. Specifically, what's going on with Sabine? I know I was surprised when early trailers suggested that Sabine and Ahsoka had a master and apprentice relationship, because although Sabine is seen to be proficient with the Darksaber in Star Wars Rebels and even gets some training under Kanan, she doesn't quite seem to actually be capable of touching the Force. Well, the show essentially just confirmed this. For one, in the second episode, Hu Yang says that even among generations of Jedi, Sabine falls short, at least in terms of Force sensitivity. If you watch the audio description for episode 1, after her fight with Shin, the narrator actually specifically also calls Sabine a false Jedi. So no, she's not Force sensitive. I mean, she can probably touch the Force to a minimal degree, like all living beings can to some extent. She's got great intuition, she's a hell of a warrior, but that's that's really where the relationship between Sabine and Ahsoka is centered. Sabine is probably learning some of the tenets of being a Jedi Knight, and she's certainly learning their warrior ways, but she's not Force sensitive, so she's not becoming a true Jedi. The distinction is important. Now, something could come out of left field, but I really doubt it. I think her battle with Shin is illustrative, not only for the narrator's snide comment, but also for her abilities. She's a natural warrior, so she can keep up temporarily with a Jedi Padawan, but ultimately she's not quite up to task, at least not yet. It kind of reminds me of like a Tion Solusar from Star Wars Legends. There are other examples of Jedi who are technically in the order, but I mean, in Tion's case, her job was basically to play the harp, but we'll see what Sabine gets up to for the rest of the season.